I want to take a moment and walk you through one of these level three normal CDF questions. So I'm going to do number one. This entire key can be found on the Google Sheet posted to Brightspace for our, our first unit. So the, the thing I want to stress is that when you are reading a word problem, annotating as you go through is so important and it helps you stay focused. So I'm going to model that here. A company that markets build-it-yourself furniture, like Ikea, sells a computer desk that is advertised with the claim less than an hour to assemble. However, through post-purchase surveys, the company has learned that the average assembly time, assembly time is 1.29 hours. They, we were just told that this was the, out, the average, so I'm going to label that mu, with a standard deviation of 0.43 hours. The company assumes that the customer assembly um, follows a normal model. I read normal model and I'm going to sketch a normal model and label it with those things I just annotated. 1.29, 0 0.43 for my mean and my standard deviation. Give that information to the grader. Label things using notation. Mu is mean, sigma is standard deviation. Question A says, what percent of customers succeed in assembling the furniture in less than an hour? So what percent of customers, customers are gonna be X, in less than one hour? Okay, so on a normal curve, I know the mean is here, 1.29, an hour is below, and we're trying to see what percent it will, assemble this in less than one hour. I am gonna start by finding the Z score. This is gonna be the probability of Z being less than my value minus the mean divided by standard deviation is how I'm going to find my Z score. So when I put that in my calculator, I get a Z score of negative, that makes sense, 0.674. There's no units attached to a z-score. It is a standardized value. So the probability, this is less than one standard deviation from the mean, okay? Think about where you are. This value is less than one standard deviation from the mean. So my, my scale isn't drawn here, correctly here. It, it's probably more like this would be my scale, right? With the one over here, if I'm thinking about drawing this to scale. Now from here, I can either use my table or I can use normal CDF. So we can use table A to look this up. I don't have table A right now. So I'm just gonna use normal CDF in my calculator with my Z score. So still so normal curve, but I'm using zero and one as the mean. And here's my Z score, negative 0.674. I plug that in, lower bound, negative infinity, upper bound, my z-score. The mean is zero, standard deviation is of one. And just to remind yourself of where to find this, um, on the TI-84, you go to second vars and you scroll to normal CDF. I don't have my calculator, so I'm using my phone, but that's what you would wanna do, second VARS, and then the E is the scientific notation, so it's that second comma, 99, and then up to negative 0.674, the mean is zero, standard deviation is one, and I get about 25%, which does make sense to me based on what I know from the empirical rule. If I was exactly one standard deviation away, this tail would be 16%, but I'm less than one standard deviation away, which is why I have about 25% in this tail. So to answer the question, always put it in context, 25.02% uh, of customers finished in less than one hour.
Now on part B, we're actually going to be working backwards. The company is consider, considering rewriting the instructions so that they can maintain the less than one hour claim for at least 60% of their customers. So let's sketch out. We're going to stay on this normal curve, okay? Um, at least 60% of their customers. So at least 60% of our customers would give us an area that looked like this. Past the mean, it's like saying 60th percentile. The probability of at least 60% of your customers complete this in less than one hour. Well, the standard if the standard deviation stays the same, so when I'm labeling this, the standard deviation is going to stay at 0.43 hours. What, what new lower mean does the company need to achieve? So what I don't know is the mean, okay? I know this area is 0.6. I need to know the mean, I know standard deviation, I know that this less than one hour claim, so this is a one, what I don't know is this value right here. I don't know what this mean needs to be. Well, we have some formulas that will help us with that. If we think of the z-score formula, the z-score formula is our value, x, minus the mean divided by standard deviation. Well, let's think about what I know. Our value is this one hour right here. So one hour minus the mean, I'm looking for that, divided by the standard deviation, I do have that value. What I need is the z-score. I can't have two variables in an equation. So I need this z-score. So what I'm gonna think about is what else I know? Look at my look at my sketch. I know that up to this one hour is 60%. So if I go back to think about, well, if I know this is 60%, I can find a z-score using inverse norm, undoing normal CDF. Inverse norm, the area to the left is 60%. I'm finding a z-score, so the mean is zero, standard deviation is one. Inverse norm is still in that second vars. Second vars, scroll down to inverse norm, 0.6, and I get 0.2533. So my z-score is 0.25, Three, three. That is my z-score that I just found. This is my z-score. I used inverse norm, found the z-score, that standardized value, and now I can do a little bit of algebra. I've got to cross multiply. 0 0.2533 times 0 0.43, I'm cross multiplying, and I get 0 0.1089 equals one minus mu, that mean I'm looking for. And then from there, I can subtract over the one. And I get negative 0 0.89 equals negative mu. So our new mean needs to be 0.89 hours. So to answer the question, the new lower mean needs to be 0 0.89 hours, and I'd need to write that in an actual complete sentence. I hope that helps. These level three questions are a lot harder, which is why I wanted to take a moment to teach you how to do that. Make sure you're studying.